subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, now, uh, boys got to get the boy Jay Biggs, you know what I'm saying? A new project going right now. Yeah, goddamn it. Now, that's for the streets. It's for the world, but goddamn it. It's, it's, this is what Texas is supposed to sound like. No no disrespect to nobody, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a, uh, I come from that butter era, you know what I'm saying? I'm a screw tight baby, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to, I want that shit to feel how it feel, like when a nigga. Opened up Don't Miss With Texas for the first time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, Biz gave me that, that feel, bro. And when I we like when I locked in with him, I'm like, bro, I know niggas don't know how to make the shit that I'm going to give you, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to make this shit. They don't know how to, you know, if a nigga don't know what to do with you, you know what I'm saying? I was able to go grab him from, you know what I'm saying, from just sitting on the bench. I'm like, fuck this shit. We finna ride. You know what I'm saying? And, that's what really what I told you. I'm like, bro, I, I want to wait till my business situated with this shit so I can talk to you about this nip shit. And I'm like, bro, I don't want to just come and talk about a bunch of old shit. I want to talk about the old shit, but I really want to talk about whatever I'm finna do now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like, use your platform. Because, bro, you got the streets and the core of the third coast locked in with you. So, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying now, bro? I'm a student of this shit before it. I remember when you told me your idea to start this shit, bro. And you wanted to put the camera. I'm like, nah, not nah. <laughs> now don't do the camera now because I'm in the midst of these lawsuits. But you know what I'm saying, bro? It's it's an honor to sit on this motherfucker, especially with Pimp behind me while I'm talking this shit with the plaques right here. Mm. It's only right. You know what I'm saying? Who else gonna bring it through like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's for the culture. I want motherfuckers to know that this shit, man. This shit... You know, niggas fuck with Nip down here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I want y'all to know why. He fuck with us. He fuck with Texas. He fuck with the H. He fuck with PA. You know what I'm saying? He he fucked around. Even when he came, he had shows. See, I bring the streets with me. Through, through the shows, street, street niggas gonna say, oh, yo, man, nigga fuck with Nip out here in the H. Woo, 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 woo. You know, shit. Nigga gonna pull up with them. With the shit, we just mm -hmm. make so he good, man. Well, you cool in your you, see, you down here fucking with me. You it's just like you in your hood. Goddamn, I used to be in this shit with him. Good, you know what I'm saying? That's what I said. So I know I didn't let business ruin our friendship. It might have fucked up the communication over time, but that's still my nigga. He my nigga, you know. He telling Lee, hey man, man, we gonna. You know, man, he, he, Lee telling him, hey, man, you know Beto, woo, woo, he ain't telling him, like, man, bro, Beto is not finna play with you. Man, you might want to gall him, man, y'all need to talk. You know what I'm saying? This shit gonna go somewhere, it don't even need to go, it's a conversation that need to be had. And, uh, you know, I think, shit, long little nip, you know what I'm saying? He, time, you know, we don't know when we gonna clock up out of here. Pretty sure you ain't think that shit was gonna happen, like, I went down like that, yeah. where it went down at. So... You know, like, man, I spent a lot of time with Nip in, in L.A., so, you know, to watch that shit unfold like this, like, that's what I thank God for foresight, man. Just sit down sometime. It ain't cool to be everywhere with everybody recording and all that shit. Kind of got to just let shit happen how it happened. What's for you is going to be for you. You just got to stay down. This is what staying down look like. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. This is what staying down look like. Nigga, ain't nobody in mind. Man, so we got JB. Let's talk about these dogs, man. These dogs. Hey, man, hold on. Before we talk about the dog, come on, B. You got to come get on camera, man. You want to swap it out? Y'all want to swap it out? Let's do it. Yo. We got to talk about this job, man. And on the dogs, snake. You want to talk about it? Okay. Mm hmm. So, too, you got to talk about this shit, man. That's why I had to send it to you from the Bleacher Report, the New York Post, man. Just to let you know, I ain't gonna just come in your shit with no dogs, man. We got about a million hours of dogs in this bitch. Yeah, yeah, Jay Biggs, what's going on, man? Mm -hmm. Hey, what's happening, man? So you tell me how you feeling, big dog? Man, you got me full of that goddamn punch, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got down a lot of my track. Shout out to get, down, she get money out of Nah, for real. Yeah, yeah. So what's going down, man? Tell me how it been working with B, though, man. Man, shit been amazing, man. If I tell you how that shit really go. Man, me and this nigga only been in the studio three times, man. You heard the project. I sent it to you personally because I wanted to know how you really felt about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we really only been there like three times. Like, 
a lot of that shit, I do it from the crib. You know what I'm saying? I come up with the ideas at the house. And then shit, by the time we get to the studio, it's like, boom, boom, boom. I'm in one night, man. We might have did like four or five songs in like a three-hour block. Everybody in there was like, God damn, I got to knock them hoes out like that. We like, shit. I ain't finna waste no time in the studio, shit, bro. It's kind of like a natural feeling we when grown, somebody We got get, kids and families and shit. And they ain't got time to be sitting in the studio playing, bro. Yeah, when somebody kind of get your direction the way you going with the project, it's like somebody helping you fight or do anything else. You know what I'm saying? So in this situation, it's kind of like, bro, helping me fight. With a mic. Something. Yeah, in this situation, it's kind of like, bro, helping me fight. You know what I'm saying? The situation where I really didn't know how to battle this. A lot of artists, they don't say this, but... Man, they don't really know how to get into the music industry. You don't really know what to do. You just have talent, and if you're able to get a little set up or get around somebody who got one, shit, you can record some songs, but you don't know what to do after you do that. Mm. That's what bro came in like, man, nah, I'm going to show you the business. I'm not just going to do no deal with you or nothing. I'm going to show you how to drop your record, and that's what he's been doing and shit. Man, he been on it. He been sending me that shit. Like, he been sending me, and I'm like, hey, bro, yeah, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Man, we shoot a video to every motherfucking song on that bitch, man. Goddamn, go stream. I can't play J B S J Y E oh, really? Bigs B I G G S. What? Uh, how long you been doing music? Man, this really like my sixth, fifth or sixth year. You know what I'm saying? Like I kind of, I kind of picked that shit up in the barbershop and just kind of started getting around people and recording songs and shit. But I really had never recorded no song. And this you know ain't, you know, and this big for, I, for where we from, from the 409. I'm from PA, you from Beaumont. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When we, I don't, you know, it's, it's rare. It, PA and Beaumont niggas fuck around. So for us to just sit here and do this shit, I hope it do something for the hood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, that shit real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit, it's... This shit is crazy. It's like, man, it's perfect. I know how to make the music that I know he wanna, he wanna get on, bro. So, yeah, yeah. And I made it real important. You know, it's a few features on that. Shout out Jay Nicole. Yeah, yeah. That's my only feature. And, and, and L. L. <laughs> and L, man. Shout out OG Big L, yeah. man. That's one of uh one of one of pimp, one of his his real homeboys, one of his partners, man. That uh he he gave me a lot of game. Uh, how to move around this industry. Shout out to him and shout out to Leo Williams. That's my manager, man. He he's a goat in the music industry, bro. Publishing guru. Uh, actually, he was the one that was giving C the publishing deal. Uh, that's who he was in LA too, do the publishing deal with. And uh, he ended up leaving that company, and he was the president of Sony BMG Chrysalis for years. And once he left, I made him my manager. Pretty much, he's been navigating me through the industry. It's like, bro, before C got up out of here, man, he made sure he put me with everybody the way I could just just go off. You know what I'm saying? Just stay busy, stay working. And shit, I, you know, got to be assertive and be everywhere I need to be and, and nowhere at the same time. Yeah. So that's why I moved the way I moved. Yeah, yeah. J. Biggs, man, talk about, because, uh, you know, a lot of your shit is it's that – a lot of culture talk and references, and you know what I'm saying? Like, what what is it that kind of influenced you to kind of go that route with everything? Man, that's really the shit I saw when I was coming up. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and I kind of took a hiatus from even thinking about music behind life. You know what I'm saying? Having kids and, you know, making a family and shit. You got to take care of them people, man. You can't just be out there going to the studio, staying in the studio, and your kids need to eat and shit. So I kind of focused on taking care of them first and came back to the music. So this some shit I just kind of always wanted to do, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, man, what's, 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 the, uh, what's the next thing for you, man? Shit, man. We probably... Yeah, we, are, we got music. We yeah, I probably don't call it so much shit. I just... I kind of let bro figure out when we going to put out which one, you know what I'm saying? That shit... We we locked and loaded though. If you had that, because people gonna watch this, and they gonna you know you got music. But if there's one record you would say, check this record out. If you wanna, you know, what I'm saying, see what I got going on. It. If you like that, then you going on check everything else out. Before you answer this, <laughs> let me just say this. With me, people would everybody say a different song. They, everybody that I know, they like different shit on this shit. So I don't know what he gonna say, man. You know to, what I'm saying? But to be even. honest, as as the time go by, as you, as I go through different days listening to it, 
I, I fall in love with different ones, but if I just had the car one out now, it'd be glass slippers. Cause mm -hmm. shout out I'm, to my nigga Meezy. Glass slippers. Yeah, I'm kind of Meezy and Fifth Love. I'm kind of in, I'm, I'm kinda in the middle of putting my drop together right now. So, man, when I play that motherfucker, man, it, outside, it feel man. like I'm finished. You know what I'm saying? Red but I still got some shit to do. Red for pimp. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Red in the bitch. Yeah, yeah. Kool Aid. Red. Eighty-four. That's my birth year. Mm. Kool Aid. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, man, that shit just sound good over the tracks, and it sound like something that could have been out back then. Cause back then, bro, like no matter how grainy the shit may look on YouTube and shit, I wanted to be a part of that shit. Like mm -hmm. I like this shit that's going on now, but I still could have been in one of the behind the scenes shit at McGregor Park or some shit. Like I used to watch that shit. That was the shit. That was what I looked up to. MLK on a Sunday back in the game. Right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about. Shit, oh one, oh two. Yeah, yeah. Four niggas was even riding along when I mean, you had to be a real nigga to ride on foes. Yeah. Shit, nigga. Yeah, it, it, it was different. You couldn't just ride on them hoes, man. That's really one of the reasons. Man, I went form before I went slab. I and mean, let's, let's, let's talk about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I went far, far and several times before I rode slab. Yeah, good shit. Kind of just, it was different then. Now you see wheels everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 well, man, what, uh, let's, let's bring them dogs on. Man, come on with the dogs, man, yeah. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.